What's up everyone? We're going to be trying some versus mode today. Today a, a new update rolled out which made it so that we can play competitively. And you can see over here this is my ELO. I have 1464 ELO which if I click on here is nowhere near the maximum. I think you even start off with 1500 ELO so I am a bit below average currently. And I'm going to be hoping to be matched up against an opponent here because I tried recording in both the puppy pack and the golden pack and no one was around to play with me so I'm just going to be happy to find an opponent and indeed we do. It's a name that I don't actually recognize so it's going to be a pretty fun matchup. Uh, the game is giving me such a good start and I don't know if I should take it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to be a scumbag for this one time. Horse double cricket, throw me into some more crickets, please. Yep, thank you. Oh man. Let's hope that they don't have mosquitoes. And uh, meanwhile, we can play around with this UI interface a little bit. Never mind, they finished their turn. Uh, it's actually a draw. Very good for them because. I'm very high tempo team right now with the multiple crickets if I find the horse it's going to be even better we do find two otters which I think I might take because I really want to just prepare some level ups for next turn I might even do something like uh, like this combine like so I don't think it's actually pretty wise now that I I'm about to do it, so let's just combine conventionally. Okay, we do it like so. I'm taking my sweet time, <laughs> sadly for my opponent. Thankfully I did not get sniped, even though my horse would have survived. And we do take the first life from our opponent, which they immediately regenerate, which is kind of sad, but it's also kind of whatever, because... I would prefer for the game to go on for as long as possible. And we have some very good options in the shop. We have a sheep and the spider, which I think... <laughs> okay, never mind. Forget about the spider. We are taking double sheep and just come bagging our way to a victory. There's no way this loses. Like, come on. Unless the horse gets sniped. But even then, I don't really see it. Maybe if they have a camel, but they have an elephant, so it's fine. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a win. Wow, such a strong start right now. I might even transition away from the horse because... It's not really doing a lot. It's giving this one attack. Maybe I'll keep it for another turn, but I don't really want to have it long term. And maybe look for a level up on the altar or the horse. We get a level up on the cricket, which isn't really what I wanted to see. So many crickets in the shop. Uh, do we want the hedgehog? I don't think so. We can maybe try because they are going to be scaling up. Uh, I don't know. I'll roll one more time. Okay, Otter, this is what I wanted to see. Horse, no thank you, it's too late for that. I'm going to transition away from it next turn. And I would honestly expect to maybe even lose now because we lost the attack buff from the horse that was temporary for last turn. We didn't lose, but we draw, which is fine. We get a level up, very nice. Let's do it like so, get one extra attack. Parrot or skunk? Oh, both of these are pretty good. I think I might take the skunk because it's going to be useful long term and as well as that I can see they have a big elephant which it's going to be wonderful to reduce the health of with the, uh, with the skunk. Now let's do some positioning magic. Fish has a meat bone so it technically has 7 attack. So maybe we want to play like this and this at the front and then these can stay here. Pill is no longer necessary. I was thinking maybe pill like uh, 
a flamingo to get some buffs, but that didn't happen. You can see how painful the skunk hit is. Like currently it's not that bad and we're even going to lose, but it's okay because long term the skunk is going to be pretty strong. I don't actually know what I want to do now. Maybe preserve a level up for next turn. It's kind of swinging against my favor, the, the tide of battle, but it's fine. We do find the level up. And we do find the second level up, so what am I hoping for? Turkey, obviously, is something very nice. And other than that, maybe monkey transition this into a scaling sort of build. Uh, positioning I don't think changes. And a lot of the time, oh no, they have a, a hippo. Okay. But we ended up drawing this time because of the extra level ups that we did. So maybe someone is a no-go now that they have a, a hippo. Let's see what we get. We do get a turkey though, which is very enticing. I think I'm going to take it. Take turkey, take otter, maybe sell horse. For a shark. Shark is pretty interesting, as, and so is the crocodile, honestly. I might sell the horse to fit in the shark. Do something like this. The turkey gives it an extra buff. We even get a turtle pill. Another pill as well. And we're going to start scaling pretty nicely with the shark. I think this is a beautiful transition that we've set up. Yep. Now we even kill the hippo without any issue and we're going to win. We don't even need to do some extra trickery with the turtle pill, but we shall anyway. It doesn't really hurt to do so. Flamingo pill do I want? Maybe? Maybe do like this? Above the skunk and the... Shark, because those are two units that are going to be staying until the end game. Maybe another turtle if I don't find anything better. And we don't, so we take the turtle, it's going to receive a buff. Yeah, very good. The shark is so beefy now that it doesn't even die to the snipes from, uh, what's it called, crocodiles. So yeah, you can see we're easily cleaning up the opponent right here. Maybe find another, uh, what's it called, another turkey. That would be good. A level 2 shark I wouldn't refuse either. Oh my god. This is so dirty, I feel so bad about this person. But they have a double hippo, so they should in theory counter us. In practice it doesn't really work like that because our summers are so powerful. Yeah, they're thinking about positioning, but nope. Actually, they have a level 2 hippo, so maybe? Yeah, okay. We drew there because the hippo grew so large. So maybe we transition away from the summon archetype? We can do a skunk. Skunk instead of the sheep. Maybe combine next time. A shark, I don't need a level 3 shark, so it's fine. Uh, okay, a turkey, another turkey. And I think I'm actually going to transition away from the fly since he has a level 2 hippo. I think I'm going to take a monkey instead. And a part of me wants to kind of run the, the frontline shark because it's going to win most likely. But you know what? I'll keep the skunk in the front and maybe do something like this. I think it's going to be wisest. So, in theory, Skunk should pop the melon and the shark should clean up. They replaced the melon, actually. It's no longer a melon, it's a garlic, which I don't think is wise. 
I think the melon would have done them uh, more justice. But whatever the case, we get a level 2 skunk now. And our scaling is coming online as well. I don't think we even need this turkey. Let's sell it. And now this turkey is redundant. We can start by selling with the dragon. They had the idea first, but we had the better execution. So <laughs> I think we're going to win because of it. Ah, uh, yeah. Shark can stay second. It's fine. Unless he does something to like startle me. I don't think I'm going to switch around the positioning. Oh, that's pretty lucky. Their hippo survived on so few HP, but it's fine because now we get to scale even further. A pill for the shark is kind of interesting. I'll keep it. I'll actually even use it. No, I, I shouldn't do it like that. I should sell, buy, sell right here. And just use a turtle pill to scale up. Skunk is getting pretty beefy as well. So maybe we do it like this. <laughs> or some more skunks, okay. We might finish with uh, a skunk. Like with a separate skunk in order to push for more tempo. Ah, kind of scary, but this time... They even have the dub double dragon, but they don't have the lives to... To use them properly, so... I think we are going to end on the yeah, fish, buy, sell, and we get the skunk right here. And yeah, I think this is going to be it. I think this is going to win now. Kind of anticlimactic, but um, who knows, maybe they surprise me with the double dragon. It seems kind of powerful if they only had more time to invest in their team but i think we're going to finish them off here they're probably thinking around with the positioning i have the luxury to not really think about it too hard and you can see we are easily going to win here and yeah actually this low of a rating i expected a lot less resistance so it's kind of scary to think about how the uh People up high are going to be competing against me. I think we're still under the average, <laughs> the starting uh, elo. We can check. 1477, yeah, it's going to take a little bit to climb back up. You can see some familiar names here, like XRB is a good friend. He's 1651. I always knew he was very good. Let's take a look at the other ladders as well just of curiosity troubadour slightly over the starting kilo which is fine i don't think a lot of people play this and weekly ladder i don't recognize anyone here i don't believe but yeah we're starting to climb up we're almost top 50 percent i like how the game is trying to make you not feel bad about how bad you're doing but yeah this is going to be it for this video i might do this into a series if it gets good reception so if you want to see more of this please like sub do all the generic stuff leave a nice comment and i'll talk to you next time take care